Welcome, tips and information. Today we are just going to be opening up this Amazon cheap servo. This is the 25kg all metal digital servo. So this one just came out of the grave digger and I wanted to check it out. Uh, if you look right here, it appears to be some play. So I'm wondering if it's just a uh, chip gear, which I'm assuming is the problem, but Never know, I guess. So if you guys are not familiar with taking apart a servo, you got four of these long screws here, and then the bottom will come off, but that's usually just your motor, electronic, stuff like that. The gears are going to be on the top side, of course, so I usually just hold that bottom and put my finger here and pop that top up. So far that gear right there looks pretty good. Okay, so now you can see right here chip teeth on this gear. Try to get it on camera for you guys. So that's the uh, fail point on this one. I do have an old one as well I opened up so I can't couldn't remember what was wrong with this one I remember it was junk but I didn't know if sometimes these teeth down here tend to break causing a fail point but this one I'm not quite sure where the problem lied the head in the bag you just sitting I'm pretty sure it wasn't new but they did write bad on it just trying to figure out what the problem was but in this case I kept this one because right here I didn't see this kind of fail point before so I kept keep the old ones just in case they have different issues so like here looks like that was a fail point over here those gears look fine so I'm going to be able just to pop this one out go over there and have a new servo again essentially so that way you don't have to sit there and keep buying new ones and granted these are disposable they are all metal and if you have different fail points on them then that can kinda be beneficial because then you can swap the gears over on each other and uh, have another servo just in case because eventually you're gonna need it but let's go ahead and uh, zoom out just gonna pull this top one off this one, the top one stayed there. This gear looks fine. But I'm not quite sure. Alright, so I was wrong. The teeth that go straight into there did strip as well so these both had the same fail points so unfortunately won't be able to use it but um, as an example if one of these lower teeth happened to fail then you could swap the gears and have a new one but yeah it appears this one had the same exact issue so that's two for two on that one I don't know if I have no I might have the uh, 20 kg still in here, but keep old servos as well. Um, never know if you know might have a gear that just happens to fit something, but unfortunately, same problem with these, so I can't create a new one just to have for backup. But I figured I'd bring you guys along, show you the ins and out of this. Um, nothing too crazy, but if you guys haven't taken one apart or are curious because you're getting in the hobby and just wondering um, or he use these for something else so you just want to take a look on the inside like I said I'm gonna pull this back off for you guys just to show you to so you have your electronic part here the board <coughs> some wiring motor so 
but that's all good and dandy. Now if this thing was completely junk or you're going to scrap it, I always advise to snip the wire because you can always use this as a uh, headlights, taillights, whatever kind of lead for your ESC, or not your ESC, your receiver. So keep these because they do come in handy if you want to add some wiring or something and you want to have it kind of connected to your receiver and different channels. So, But otherwise I'd say just keep it for now so that way you can interchange parts if you have different fail points. But thank you for coming along. Appreciate you watching, giving the video a view. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified weekly of new videos. Got all kind of playlists. Please check out those. And uh, again, thanks for watching. And I'll try to continue pumping out videos for you guys. Um, nothing crazy here, but something to look, watch, maybe trying to go to bed. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.